Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Today, we're going to dive into George Dickel's 17 years. Yes, Dickel 17. But before we do so, today's episode is sponsored by our good friends over at Zbiotics. So people have reached out to me before and like, Judge, does Zbiotics truly work? I'm here to say, you guys know me, always straightforward. Um, I can only market something that I personally believe in, I've used, and it's something that I use even when I'm not you know, here on camera. So exactly what is Zbiotics? How does it work? All the details. Very straightforward. So Zbiotics is a pre-alcohol probiotic. Um, it's genetically engineered and you drink it before consuming alcohol to avoid those rough next mornings, right? That's essentially how it works. Uh, it produces an enzyme and the enzyme is what's, what breaks down the byproduct of alcohol, which is most responsible for those rough next morning. So that's essentially how it is um, or how it works. And very simple, very straightforward. They come in a variety of different options. Uh, I have here in front of me, this is the three pack. This is also a six pack. But if you go to zbotics.com, you can see all the different options that you can pick from. I in front of me today, I have the three pack as well as the six pack. But it's very straightforward, very simple. Uh, you just simply take one bottle, shake it up and you consume it right before you're about to have alcohol um as a good example for example i had some of my friends over the other night everyone likes to come to my house we do you know obviously different whiskey tastings and so forth sharing is caring with your whiskey and uh, being responsible but uh i knew we we're going to be considering or consuming uh alcohol that night and probably you know a, a good bit if you will so i was like hey everyone let's go ahead and just dive into a little bit of zbiotics just so we have something just to kind of avoid the rough next day and honestly at least for me personally it definitely did work which is awesome but very straightforward just take a bottle shake it up take off the wrapper real quick here consume it that's it so just one bottle so if you're interested in uh, zbiotics you can go directly to zbiotics.com forward slash the bourbon judge and you'll get 15 percent off on your first order or easy enough just go ahead and just scan this qr code and you'll get 15 percent off on your first order as well but make sure at checkout you uh, de definitely go ahead and uh, include the uh, my code, uh, the Bourbon Judge, and you'll get fifteen percent off on your first order. Cool. All right. Thanks, Zbox. Really appreciate uh, the support, and uh, make sure you guys check them out. I'm gonna slide Zbox over here, and we're gonna dive into George Dickel Seventeen. So, George Dickel Seventeen. So this came out, I think it was late. 2022 but for the most part it was really like in january february of this year when people started to really see it in you know in multiple stores and so forth even sometimes even online so it came out and uh you know i saw it even myself as well but i was like i don't know george dickel i do like dickel products so that's number one you have to be a dickel fan i do like dickel products um but i have had the 15 year before which is only i think it was like 65 dollars this 17 year it came out as $250. So I was like, whew, I don't know. So I, I, I held off for a little bit. Luckily, one of my patrons, a good friend of mine, my buddy Terrence, uh, Terrence like, hey, Judge, I want you to get this on the channel. So thank you, Terrence, for the sample. Really do appreciate it, my friend. Let's go ahead and pour this. So of course, George Dickel out of Tennessee, uh, they produce a ton, and I mean a ton of whiskey, right? A ton of whiskey. Um, so then this one came out, saw the price tag again, $250. And I was like, oh my goodness, that's a lot. So luckily again, Terrence was kind enough to let me uh, have a sample so I can get it onto the channel. Um, availability. Now this is a tough one because availability is definitely limited, right? I mean, this is not one that you're going to find in every single store. If you are a fan of Dickel products or just wanting to try this, either check out at a bar or if you want to just go ahead and grab it, you probably have to do some hunting, maybe even reach out to some different friends and see whether or not maybe a friend of yours can uh, grab a bottle for you because it's extremely limited. Now, the cool thing about this is that it's cast strength, it's barrel strength, but it's only 92 proof. Yes, that is not a, uh, <laughs> I am correct. It's cast strength, but it's only 92 proof. So very low on a proof standpoint. Um, let's go ahead and get to this nose real quick. Let's see color. So I know a lot of people are not big fans of uh, Dickel products because it has like those medicinal like cherry kind of notes to it. Whew. But for me, I don't really mind that. I actually, I actually like that actually, honestly. I'm not a, uh, I'm not in the group that dislikes Dickel products. I do like Dickel products. As long as it's good whiskey, I can care less if it has like those medicinal cherry notes or not. As long as it's really good whiskey. But I will say this one here, so age 17 years, so a little bit longer than the other one that I had before I reviewed the 15 year product, 
but same mash bill. Uh, 80, 84% corn, 8% malted barley, and 8% rye. So an 84, 8, 8 in the mash bill. So definitely in the nose, very much traditional uh, dickle, of course. You get a lot of like those darker, like, um, like plum notes, like darker fruit notes, plums. Oh man, some blackberries, obviously some cherries as well, of course. Very earthy, very fruit forward. It almost has like a, um, uh, in the background too, almost like a, a very light level of caramel in the background too. So caramel, smidge of pepper, very earthy, very fruity, plums, blackberries, smidge of strawberries as well. All right, $250, woo, we shall see, but 92 proof cast strength, all right. Cheers, everybody. Mm, Ooh, wow, wow, that's very vibrant, extremely vibrant. Oh, let me get a little bit more, just a smidge more. Wow. Mm. What I like about that, the palate had a lot more, which I didn't honestly get this in the nose. Obviously, of course, age 17 years. The palate had a ton of oak in it, but it was blended very well. The oak and the fruit kind of came together. So it's very oaky, very um, like dark fruit notes, like the plums, the strawberries, some blackberries in there as well. Very nice. <clears throat> Very nice in the in the palate. Nice long finish at 92 proof. It's still very actually bold and vibrant and, and almost even robust for a 92 proof whiskey. It does not taste with your force because it's not, it's barrel strength. It does not taste watered down. It tastes like it actually has a ton of complexity to it and it's quite nice. Mm. Wow, all right, a little bit more. Cheers. Mm. That is really really good so you guys know me I have to give a decision but before I do I have a couple quick favors number one hit the like button number two drop me a comment let me know your thoughts on the George Dickel 17 if you tried it and last but not least please make sure you also subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell so you get notification each and every time I release new content cool all right so the judgment is in this is a do not buy. Woo! You might be wondering why, Judge. So I'm gonna be very crystal clear. Do I like this whiskey? Absolutely. It's not a do not buy because of uh, the quality of the whiskey. It's the price point. I'm sorry, at $250 plus tax, depending where you live, most states other than my state, um, plus tax, you're looking at 275, 280, essentially a $300 bottle of whiskey. For $300, I want something that's gonna make me do like cartwheels throughout my house. I wanna jump up, clap, and like scream. This is very, very good. Do not get me wrong, but it is not $300 good. That is the key difference. That's the reason why I give this one a do not buy. For me, for me personally, I would recommend, if you really want almost the exact same experience, I would go with the Dickel, uh, the 15 year statement. Um, you can typically find them, they come anywhere, proof wise, anywhere from like 80 to like 100 proof, I think it is, or 102 proof. I would go with one of those. You can buy that bottle for $65. It looks just like this bottle here, except for it has the, the white label. This is a single barrel that I have, but it looks just like this, except for it has the white label, white with like a little bit of the, the brown in it or the tan, and it has age 15 years. That, in my opinion, is the better option, $65. You would save almost 200 bucks flat out. It's almost equally as good. Um, and honestly, this is great, but it's not almost $300 great. Sorry, it is what it is. Hey friends, until the next time, peace, cheers, and most important, salute. take care.